Hi, I'm Ben, amateur call sign M7FRS, and I've not made a video for a little while, so I thought I'd uh, give you a little update on what I've been up to recently. So, um, just bought myself one of these little RTL SDR dongles, so that's what we've been playing with. I've downloaded two pieces of software, the first one being uh, SDR Sharp, and the second one being PDW. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to uh, um, download those and get them working on your computer. This isn't going to be a, a tutorial video. There's plenty of really good videos on uh, YouTube that uh, show you how to do that. Uh, but one of the interesting things I thought I'd show you was uh, uh, some of the different things that you can uh, decode on uh, PDW, some different uh, POXAGs. So the POXAG is the Post Office Code Standardization Advisory Groups. That's what POXAG stands for. So pages, basically. Now you can go on uh, around about sort of 153.350 megahertz around there. Um, that is the uh, sort of area you look for wide area paging. It's uh, it's quite busy. There's a lot of activity on 153.350, especially in the, this area. So I'll just turn the radio up, and within a few seconds, there's bound to be um, some uh, some poxag signals coming through. So that's an example of uh, what POXAG signal sounds like and uh, they'll start appearing on the screen as, uh, there's lots of messages coming through. They're used by, well looking at the messages they're used by predominantly um, doctors, hospitals, uh, there's veterinary surgery stuff on there, um, all sorts of things, fire services, there's some fire services use that but one of the things I was interested in looking at and finding was uh, other frequencies that uh, transmit POXAG. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is um, the uh, UK's sort of national fire service uh, frequency, which is 147.8 uh, megahertz. Um, unlike wide area paging, uh, these are signals that are transmitted probably from your local fire station, basically. These are to alert the, um, the local on-call or retained crews, if you like. Um, you can generally work out which uh, station is being paged, A, by... Uh, how strong the signal is, so if it's your local station obviously it'll be a really strong signal um, and also by the um, uh, by the address itself that it's sending it to. Uh, once you've started receiving a few of these you can almost work out which addresses are for um, which teams if you like. So this was me the other day decoding uh, fire service pages on 147.8 megahertz and uh, I know I've been playing a lot around with this for far too long when uh, my own pager actually goes off during the making of the <laughs> the video. So uh, you'll see that there's, uh, there's several messages coming up there. Fire Team A, which was alerting our team. When it says Fire Team B, what that is, is it's uh, uh, another team being alerted off our antenna, basically. So uh, each uh, fire station has uh, its own antenna, which uh, transmits the, uh, the pages. But the neighbouring uh, station also uh, bounces off that as well. So you'll get one alert off... Uh, off your own antenna and then uh, a secondary alert from the uh, the neighbouring fire station just to make sure we don't miss any calls. Other messages you might see on there might say something like uh, priority contact control. Um, that is our officers getting a message to say they need to ring control to find out what the uh, the job is. The other ones that just say uh, uh, fire team A or fire team B is uh, like I say our teams are just being alerted into the station then we find out more when we get there. Um, the neighbouring service, uh, again, I can tell it's a, a different uh, uh, different team being called because theirs just says fire call as opposed to fire team. So I know that's uh, that's the neighbouring service. And again, we can uh, we can look at the address and I can work out that the uh, uh, the seven digit code generally is uh, it will always start with a zero uh, for the fire service ones, then another number or another zero. Uh, then the station uh, two digit station number, which uh, denotes which station it is. Then the last three digits. Um, uh, specific to that service so i know which service it is so again i can tell if it's our service or the, the neighboring one that's uh, being alerted the other frequency i was going to have a look at is uh, the rnli lifeboat uh, frequency i believe this works the same way as the, um, the fire service one so it'd be more local so it'd be transmitted from a local um, local transmission tower you don't get a lot of information you'll just get information like uh, a request to launch the lifeboat, which goes to the station's uh, launch authorities, or a um, an actual launch lifeboat message, which goes to uh, the, obviously the crew itself. And they operate on one five three 
0.075 megahertz and you might see other messages on there such as crew assemble or uh, you'll know the system's working because you should get some uh, daily transmitter tests uh, come up on there as well anyway hope you've enjoyed this video well done if you've made it this far to the end and uh, this is m7 frs uh, saying uh, 73 and goodbye